we find you guilty or not. But in the case of public opinion, you're guilty. What's up guys, Jake Anthony here with Project Monkey Man Gaming, and today we're going to talk about Toby Turner, aka Tobacus. Um, this story is important to me because there has been a long trouble history with YouTube content creators. Um, I'm not saying that he did it, um, that he didn't do it. Um, I'm not here to play judge, jury, or, you know, whatever. Um, all I can do right now is bring you guys the facts about what's going on. So, a few people don't know, there's a YouTuber called Toby Turner, aka Tobacus. Um, he makes YouTube videos, he hosts uh, a League of Legends type thing on the internet. And he was, this is where the story gets kind of confusing. So he was dating or he wasn't dating a girl named April, April Fletcher, um, also aka she goes by April F. Um, she is a gamer who works for Xbox. If you get into the mushy details, um, I'll give you guys some links. You guys can decide for yourself. Um, April says they were together. Um, and he would flip flop. They were together. They weren't together. She didn't know what they were. And that's the way she sums up the relationship. And it basically comes down to she uh, was drugged and raped by Toby. Um, these are serious allegations, you know, it sucks because you don't want, don't want to ever say someone who's been raped and drugged and point at them and say, you know, you're lying. Uh, if it's true, then that's a horrible experience. You don't want to be told you're lying and no one believes you when, you know, you felt one of the most horrible acts committed against you. Then from Toby's point of view, you know, those allegations are serious to for someone to tell you that you're a rapist I mean I can't imagine if that was being in his shoes and you didn't do it and people are saying you did so basically April took to tumblr and I'll go ahead and leave the link below so you guys can read the story that she posted and she goes into well you know basically goes into the allegations that uh, Turner drugged and raped her while they were dating uh, also about his drug use and the sexual misconduct that she felt Toby placed against her. Um, all that is on her Tumblr page, so I'll go ahead and leave the link down below if you guys want to check that out and read that for yourself. Um, and then there was a girl that apparently while April and Toby were dating, her name was Olga K. Um, Apparently, it gets weird and it says that she says she believed that Toby and Kay were dating, weren't dating, but they were doing it as a bit for one of his videos or for his videos. And she kind of believed him for a little bit and didn't believe him. And now Toby's mom, Jackie Turner, has weighed in on Facebook and she went into a whole story also. Um... I don't have the link for that, but I'll go ahead and post up the story up here so you guys can read that for yourselves. Um, basically, I wish she says that they live together in the same house. Uh, none of that could have happened in their house. She would have known about it. Um, she knew about Kay, and uh, Kay and Toby were actually dating, and April was April and Toby were never dating at all, and that's a lie. So it's a lot of finger pointing at each other, you know. It's April pointing at Toby saying, you you did it. It's Toby actually hasn't came out and said anything. Uh, Toby's mom saying, no, he didn't do it. You're lying. Um, Kay has actually come out and said that uh, even though they're no longer dating, that she's okay. She was never you know, raped. She was never drugged. Um, she never felt that she was put in a position that... Um, she was uncomfortable with or you know along those lines I'm paraphrasing that um, I'll go ahead and post that up too for you guys to see I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys a direct quote this is from the daily dot um, basically it's from another ex of Turner's 
Uh, another ex of Turner's has also stepped forward. Amelia Talon outlined her experience with Turner in a video stating she, had, she has felt pressured to take drugs with him and had reportedly been forced to take MDMA on one occasion. Um, that's reported by the Daily Dot. So, I mean, you have other exes coming out, or at least one other ex coming out, saying that she felt pressured to take drugs. So, and apparently, Amelia Tallon and April Fletcher are friends. Uh, so, take that for what it's worth. It's just a sad, sad situation. You know, there's been a lot of YouTubers under scrutiny lately for, you know, Gamergate or being anti-Gamergate. Uh, then the prank videos, you know, the assaults. It's just, it's sickening and it's sad. You know, I come on here and I'm not assaulting anybody. Um, I'm not picking on anybody. I'm not bullying anybody. It's just, we come on here to talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, that's all I have to really say about, uh, Toby Turner and, uh, April Fletcher. That's all I have to say about it, about them. Uh, it is what it is. If it happened, then Toby needs to go to jail. He needs to pay, pay the price for what he's done. If, um, April's lying, if it comes out to show that April's lying, then she needs to pay the price. Um, I don't know how. Uh, maybe to be shunned by the internet community. Uh, I don't know. Not to lose her job at Xbox. That's that'd be crazy. This is the reason why I'm not quick to jump to say you're guilty. You're not guilty. Let's just wait until all the facts come out about the story, and then we can weigh in on what we think is true. Now, no, normally my rule of thumb would be, you know, the crazier the story, probably it happened. Um, because you're not going to make up those type of details for something that's fake. And when you go in to read April's story, you're just like, wow. Uh, if she made all that up, she should be, you know, you know, a, a fiction writer or something, rewriting books. So, I don't know. I'm not going to judge Toby, and I'm not going to judge April. It's not my, not my place, not who I am, you know. I'm strictly, I've always come out and been against the outrage culture or the internet culture that has been part of the millennials generation. I think it's disgusting and it's, we should wait. You know, you're innocent until proven guilty, not guilty and proven innocent. And you know, I'm not going to weigh in in this, uh, you know, court of public opinion. So yeah, uh, a lot of craziness going on with the, the the Toby Turner thing I just thought I'd bring you an update on that it's I, it's been at least gaming YouTube news it's part of you know what I do um, but it's just amazing how the penalties weigh differently if someone's was lying or if someone did it so this is where the video is gonna end um, this is Monday's video um, I know I said I was gonna do another political video but that video didn't do too well um, it only got 38 views, so I'm just going to go ahead and nix that. Um, unless you guys want to see it, go ahead and let me know, and I'll go ahead and make those videos for you. If not, I'm going to continue on this path. The next video for tomorrow that I'm planning on making is going to be... What was I going to do? Loot Crate DX. Um, it's another crate that Loot Crate is offering. Um, it's a more high-end loot crate, and we'll go ahead and go into that a little bit more in detail tomorrow and on Wednesday I'm going to do a video on Nintendo NX because I wanted to continue the trend of DX and NX but no um, I'm a huge Nintendo fan uh, so that would be fun I'll try not to use any pictures or videos that way Nintendo can't claim my content it's just going to be me talking to you guys like always so if you guys enjoyed this, um, go ahead and hit the like button. If you guys want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, you know, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, leave a comment if you disagree with me, agree with me, or just want to say, hey, what's up? I um, hope you guys had a good time, and I'll see you guys next time on Project Monkey Man Gaming. Peace.